본인들과 많은 분들이 이렇게 생각을 합니다. They themselves and many people think this way. 나는 선교 지역에서 큰 역사를 이루지 못한 것 같다. 뭐 I think many of you think that I have not raised any great works in my missions field. 또 우리 선교를 후원하는 분들이나 교회들이 그렇게 생각을 하시는 것 같아요. And perhaps many people, as well as the church sponsoring those missionaries, might think the same way. 저는 두 가지 이유로 절대 그렇게 생각하지 않습니다. But for two reasons, I do not think that way at all. 이미 여러분들의 자녀들 또 여러분 속에 있는 제자들 Because already I have seen your children as well as the disciples under you. 네, 사람들이 중요하게 쓰임 받을 수 있습니다. And they can be importantly used by God. 또 이제 여러분의 사역은 이제 시작입니다. And now your ministry is just beginning. 남은 자라는 말은 복음으로 완전히 끝나고 끝을 아는 자입니다. And those who remain are those who have ended it with the gospel and know the end. No matter what the situation, those who have ended it with the covenant will not be shaken. And now in the life that you have left, you are raising these kinds of people as the 70 disciples. These people are usually 순례자의 길과 정복자의 길을 가는 사람들이. And these people are the ones who are mainly traveling the path of the pilgrim and the path of the conqueror. 반드시 이 사람들은 남는 자가 됩니다. And absolutely, these people become those who remain. 남는 자는 하나님이 주시는 큰 And those who remain will gain the great power that God grants. And already there are these kinds of people around you. In every region that I went, without exception, I saw that there were these kinds of people. And now you must stake your life to raise these kinds of disciples. The reason because there are many renowned people out there, those who are greatly learned and great politicians as well. But if these people were entrusted, we can't entrust these kinds of people to those people. And there are many more people who are powerful than you. And we will be in trouble if these people are entrusted to them. Those who will remain are the ones who will change culture. That God will change the culture of evil to good. And God will change you. That's what it means to be those who will remain. 마지막 강의는 남길 자입니다. And now the last lecture is those who will leave behind. 그래서 70 나라를 살릴 수 있는 남길 자의 길을 여러분들이 가면 됩니다. And so it does travel the path of those who will leave behind to raise and save the 70 nations. 대표적으로 Let me just introduce one thing to you. Why did Paul go into the synagogue? And when he met the important couple of Priscilla and Aquila, he routinely went into the synagogue with them. And prior to going into Rome, in the Tyrannus Hall, he went into the synagogue. What does that mean?
That with the blessing of those who remain, those who remain, those who will remain, and those who are left behind to save the twenties of nations, the key is posterity. This is what Paul left, and this is what's left for you. I know it sounds a little extreme, but we don't need smart people because smart people do something else. Those who have a lot, those who have great backgrounds, we don't need them because because of that background, they will do something else. If you are facing a hardship, God intentionally did that so that you can do this. If you haven't received any answer until now, that's something to be truly grateful for because God wants you to do this. If answers come but you haven't done this, then it's a little dangerous, isn't it? You have to understand well. That's why rather than the Pharisees, God called the fishermen. Now, it doesn't mean that God only uses fishermen. That God used Paul, who was so smart, in a greater way. The issue is that it has to be a person who understands these words. Then just know one thing. Because you already have everything, all you have to do is align yourself with this. It is the time, it is the place, and the work. It is the time, the place, and the work of God. Just remain here. And because you are the person that fits with this, God has called you. That don't be comforted by my words. That's a misconception. Oh, I've got great power. No, that's a misconception. Because our power is of no help to God. We keep on having our misconceptions. That might help us to earn a living, but it doesn't help for world evangelization. That eating, anyone can do that, even dogs eat, isn't that so? That's not our goal in life. That pigs eat more than us. That's not our goal. And so don't fall into any misconceptions as you go back. That God is still preparing you, he hasn't even started yet, he's going to start now. But if you fall into misconceptions, it really will be to your loss. Moses hadn't even started yet, and he said, I can't do it. God hasn't even begun yet, but he says, oh, I can't do it. I'm too old. I have no power. I can't do this. See, but I don't have anyone behind me. I can't do this by myself. I have nowhere to go, and so I'm living off my in-laws. That's what he was saying. God was so exasperated. I will be with you. But still, if I tell the Israelites, let's go, they're not going to listen to me. Tell them that the Lord sent you. He gave many excuses, but finally understood in the end. Yosebi. And Joseph sends something that sounded ridiculous, almost like a dream. That the moon and the sun and the stars bow down to me, that's crazy talk. That his brothers misunderstood those words. Does that mean we're going to bow down to you? Joseph knew that those words were about the evangelization of the 230s of nations, and Jacob kept that matter in mind. It ends with that. Because the time, the place, and the work will absolutely arise. If it doesn't, then wait for it. Then have fun waiting along the way. There's nothing to worry about. And don't be impatient. That's a disease. Don't worry. Look carefully at the Bible. How can you match this time? It's with this one thing, Exodus 2. 
이스라엘은 죽게 됐습니다. Israelites were facing death. 후대들이 학살 당합니다. That their descendants are being slaughtered. 모세도 죽게 됐습니다. Moses was going to die as well. 이 모세 어머니는 엄청난 것을 결정합니다. But Moses mother makes a grave decision. 사실 불가능한 결정은 아닙니다. Honestly, it's not an impossible decision. 엄마로서 당연한 결정인데 아이를 물어서 떼어 보내기로 한 겁니다. It's a rightful decision as a mother, so she decides to send her child adrift on the river. 제가 보기에는 아이를 버리려고 한건 아닌 것 같아요. And I don't think that she did it to abandon her child. 왜냐하면 그 뒤에 글 읽어 보면요. Because if you read it afterwards, she was imagining a time in when the princess would come and bathe in the river. And so she enables her son to be adopted as a son of the princess. In that time, she was raising him as she nursed him. At this time, Moses' brother, mother, Jacob, gave him all the covenants. And with that, the greatest event on earth happened. Isn't that so? It's this. And so you're just beginning. And so in God's eyes, Moses was those who remained. His mother was those who remained. And then they became those who remain, those who will remain, and those who will leave behind. That there might be the tense for the time here, but it's all talking about the same thing. Look carefully at the Bible. Exodus chapter 2, that's how Moses was born. But in Exodus 3, he completely failed. That he had caused an accident inside the palace and then he ran away. But Jethro, who made this Moses his son-in-law, it ends with that. That he did something tremendous. This is your ministry. And so starting now, always think about this. All it takes is one person. All of you have at least one person, and that one person will raise 70 disciples. Starting now, don't even be hasty. And don't use humanism. If you use humanism, that's not a real disciple. Well, 아까 우리 한모연 교수님 잠깐 그런 얘기 했습니다만 처음에 저는 이렇게 막확 달라붙어 저분에게 이렇게 막 이렇게 잘안 했습니다. Then I briefly spoke with our professor Han, but when I first met him, I didn't try to attach myself to him. 왜냐하면은 스쳐가는 군들이 많기 때문에. Why? Because I'm sure there are many people, many con artists who just pass through. 저분은 그런 분이 아니란 걸 내가. But I knew that he was not that kind of person. 그래서 제자는 그런 삶을 겁니다. And so that's how you make disciples. 그렇게 연결 되는 게. And when you get connected that way, that's a real meeting. And so this is not something about changing or trying to teach somebody this. That you are familiar with these Bible verses. That one woman began proper prayer. She was always having incorrect prayer and then she began to pray correctly. Why aren't you giving me any sons? God did not answer that prayer. Then why are you blessing Panina and why are you not blessing me? Then what, is, how, what does that make me feel like? And God never answered that prayer. One day she realized and asked for a Nazarite. I believe that God granted her the greatest answer of that age. It was Samuel. And not one word Samuel said fell to the ground. It's to that extent. And while Samuel lived, wars ceased. And while Samuel lived, those who saw Samuel served the Lord. That your the correct prayers of you one person raises these kinds of works. Let us say there were no missionaries. What would happen? The entire world would be lost in darkness. Who would tell anyone this gospel?
Just, re- look at, just remain inside of this. It was a time where David was anointed. And also the scene where David overcame Goliath. And here I saw Jesse's role. And truly it is the time, the place, the work. This is tremendous, and that is what Jesse saw. Just see this. What time is this right now? What situation is this? What is God's plan? That's what Jethro saw. That's why he made him his son-in-law, something that he should not have done in front of people's eyes. And so that's what it is. Always think about this wherever you go. Even when you prepare the message. That even when you prepare the message from the very beginning to the end, ask yourself this. Why must I give this sermon? Ask that to God. What is it that God wants? Then you'll see what you need to take out and what you need to put in. It's this. And many people have misconception thinking that if you bear a lot of fruit, then, oh, you must be doing something great. Rather than doing this, then that's wrong. Even if you just raise one person and go before God, you need to do this. Take a look at this. That you're familiar with these verses. It truly is amazing. Obadiah. He was an official underneath the king, but he went against the king's orders to kill all of the prophets and hid a hundred of them. This Obadiah saw that. Isn't that so? He saw the most important stream of evangelism and missions in the Bible. He saw the most important point of answers. Then that's it. And so now you are returning to this position starting today. I'm sure there are a lot in the Bible as well, as I said earlier. Daniel knew this. The three young men knew this. Oh, we are here right now. Oh, in what time schedule are we? They knew. That's why they resolved, and from that point on, they could see everything. Even though they were facing death, they say, it's okay, even if we are thrown into the furnace and die. Even if I'm going to be thrown in the den of lions and executed, I, it's either the same thing and prayed. And Esther said, if I perish, I perish. That's what they said. In the same way. The people who came down from the Mount of Olives. The time, the place, the work that God desires. And those who are not too smart might think, what are these people? And the Pharisees might consider them to be fools. That's why they fully persecuted them. And the people that they persecuted, if they had a background, then they might be fearful of them, but they had no background. That's why they beat down on them. I'm sorry to say, but those people were inside of God's time. Isn't that so? And that's why they were traveling that time schedule. And so what comes from our first point are the 70 disciples. It follows the 70 regions. That's what happens. 
And the 70 tribes are the closest to us and whom we meet first. Their incorrect culture, yet they change that with blessings. And the 70 nations. Of course, it's 237 nations, but one person can reach the 70 nations. And so look at the stream of the Bible. And the ones who understood this the best were the people of Acts 11 19. And the individual who properly understood this came forward, and that was Paul. And that's where they were. Then should we not do anything? Starting now, briefly do three things. Start now. How are you going to travel the path of those who will leave behind these 70 disciples? But there is this path. First of all, I started now completely set this. So what do you mean by setting? That God's word take everything and starting now, what you do is you plan. That what do you have before plan? We have edit and design. That's how you set this. That you are set your life in finding the posterity to save the 70 nations. Starting now, do this. And as you do this, the most important content is Calvary, Mark's Upper Room, and Mount of Olives. The second setting. You are setting the disciples for the 70 nations and also setting that field. As you do that, the answers lie within Acts 13, 16, and 19. Now, what do you see in the first half of chapter 13, 16, and 19? They receive answers before they go. This is what happens. And then what? The works of healing take place. That if you look very carefully at the first part of Acts chapter 13 and Acts chapter 19 and the middle of Acts chapter 16, you find all things you need to hold on to. Just do that. So don't just go rushing out into camp. Do this first. That's your role. And if you do that, those works will take place. That I did this first regarding my 70 fields. And the thrill that you get when you're so excited, that's what happened for me. And even now, I'm always thinking about this. That right now, my field is to transmit this to you, but I really want to go into the field. Because what I sense is that you make it very difficult to go into the field. If you do it that way, it's going to be hard. And sometimes when I hear the reports from the missionaries and when they're so excited because things are taking place a little bit, I kind of worry for them, saying, that's not it. And so God allowed this pandemic and he opened up the new doors to 237 nations, so I realized we need to begin anew. And you know when people who are so poor come into a large amount of money, then they get so excited, they're not able to handle that. You know, people who are always disregarded, they like to attack others because they're always being looked down on. So it's not going to work from that level. That you completely make preparations first. The work, the person, the location, they completely were led. And in chapter 16, to Macedonia, they completely set that. 
And chapter 19, verse 1 through 7, we saw that the works that took place for Mark's upper room, how they were receiving power and speaking in tongues, were reenacted. And so just adjust this. Then you'll see these paths open. And unconditionally, from the beginning, just find those 70 disciples, starting now. And no reason to treat them well or to get on their good side. No, that's fake. And then begin by finding the 70 fields, the regions. Because there are the fields inside the region. Listen well to what I'm saying. And it's kind of strange to say it's fun to do this, but it really is fun. My heart was really jumping inside of me. I was able to go to one region and then to another region. That's what happens. Even the workers and the elders who went with me, they were so surprised. But thankfully, so much opposition arose in Busan, we had to stop. And by doing that, I was able to meet all of you. I'm really thankful for that. Because ultimately, it is this journey. Ultimately. And so there's no other way but this. And that's why we must remember this time. Even if you just know answers will come. Going out to evangelize is not what's important. It's about this. That you do this first and then go out. Keep that in mind. And then set the 70 nations for the future. Now this follows. And when you do this, you can see Romans 16, verse 25, 26, and 27. Uh, then number two. That once you do this, it's already finished, so it's easy. What is number two? That you are sending the 70, the 70 people who are going to leave behind to the places where nobody goes. Not that you are sending them, but you can see them. And so, this is what it means to be those who leave behind. And then number three, it's not that we don't go. And in the 70 fields that nobody can go to. That this is the 70 fields that nobody goes to. And so, you can see that. That what's the reason why nobody goes there? And you're familiar with this word. There's nothing there. But that's the answer. That you try to do something, but you can't because you have no background, you've got no abilities. But that's the answer. And here we see the 10 mysteries to be able to survive no matter what the situation. That send them to the places where there is no way. That's where you plow in. It must be here that you are able to see the spiritual facts. That we only move according to the physical things that we see. No, don't do that. That people who don't know a lot about business or about insurance, they go to people that they know. Then you quickly go to face limitations. But those who are skilled, they reach out to those who they don't know. And look carefully at this. If you begin praying this prayer, this is the very first answer that comes to you. Nobody goes there, so you go there. And there's no way either. So there's no competition. 
But if you need to compete, that's, that's worldly things. You don't have to compete. That's what it means to be those who leave behind. Once again, take a look at this. On the remnant path, were there any competitors? No. All the remnants went here. They went down the path that where nobody could help them. Joseph. Do you know why Joseph went all the way to prison? Yes, he knew the spiritual facts, but he also knew that there was nobody to help him. And Joseph knew that even if he spoke up, it wasn't all in vain. But he also knew the fact that this would be fulfilled. And so we are beginning to raise up these kinds of posterity. And even if it doesn't succeed, the moment that you set your heart on this, answers will come. Isn't that so? It's very important. Then you're familiar with this. And there's no opportunity. It's no time. That's why you have to choose the crises. And so teach the remnants. That crisis, it is the greatest field of answers. This is the mystery to save the 70 nations. And there's no field. It's nowhere. And, and that's why it lies on the opposite side. Unconventional thinking. It lies on the opposite side. Always. And no reason to follow the trials because people are always saying strange things, but the answers lie on the opposite side. And lastly, number five. Uh, there are no answers in all the fields. To so say there is an answer, that's false. No answer. That is why with God's answer, it doesn't matter whether that person is right or wrong, you go to save them. That is synergy. And this was the weapon that the seven remnants had, and it's your weapon as those who will leave behind. Because nobody goes there. And then now the remnants were able to go to the places where nobody could go. Now what is that? Everybody. That is everybody. And so they went to the places where they could save everybody. Not anyone can go there. And that's why there's no competition. I'm not, just, I'm not just saying this. Look careful at each one. It was Joseph's journey. It was David's journey. All of them. Joseph saved everyone. That in the past there was no way, but now you become the way to save everyone. We call this recreation. This answer will come. If you simply hold this covenant, then God will raise disciples of recreation to you and do his works everywhere. It's this. That you're familiar with these words. In the past, it was nowhere. There was no field, but now everything is a field. It's everywhere. What do we call this? Ultimately, our remnants become the summit. That if you become the summit, you don't have a set field. Everywhere is a field. These are important words. The king said, Do whatever you want with the Egyptians. That's what he said. Not a single person in Egypt will, move, will be able to move without your permission. That's what the king said. That I am hired than you in regards to one thing. That I sit on the throne. That's what he said. Do whatever you want with Egypt. 
That it really seems like a fantasy. But this actually happened. And right now, this is what is progressing before us. Ultimately, what is it? In the past, there was no opportunity, but now through our remnants, we'll see it become every time. And that's why we see this important word. Go to the wilderness. Go to the barren places. Why? Now, it's every time. It transcends time and space. And the last thing, it may seem like the same words, but it's not. That you can give the answer to everything. What is the key? You've seen the absolute things of God. That's what you are relating. The greatest counsel I can give this person is to let them know the absolute things of God. And the greatest way to bless this person is for me to let them know God's absolute plan. That even if we just look at one person, Joseph, that these are accurate words. And because as one person, Joseph, God's absolute plan was relayed, the Pharaoh had nothing to say to that. This is what saves the 237 nations. Let me tell you once again, always think about this journey. That find the seven disciples first, those who remained. Don't worry about anything else. That whoever you are, you can do this, so don't worry. Now, what's more important are elders. It's important to go out to evangelize, but this is more important. And now enable each and every one of them to plow into their 70 regions. Then you'll find the 70 tribes and 70 nations. It's a tremendous thing that happens. The conclusion. I'm sure there might be some of you who are worried that you don't have your own position or, or in the church. Even though it is normal to think that way, it has nothing to do with this. There are many church officers who think, oh, nobody acknowledges me at church. You've probably seen well. But in one way, you fail when it comes to this. And to begin by finding the seven disciples among the multi-ethnic group who are already here. Begin with this. Then among the multi-ethnic group who are already here in Korea, don't just run various programs, find disciples. Number two, it's something that are mainly our lay people need to do. That there are remnants who are out there. And also business people who are already out there. And already immigrants who are there. Find the 70 disciples from among them. And then what's more important is number three. That once our missionaries really find those seven disciples, help them to find them. And that's what we mean by Romans 16, verse 23. Now, all the disciples, that he was a host to myself and all the evangelists. That he was a host to myself and all the evangelists. That's what our church officers need to do. There's nothing else more important. 
전도도 거꾸로 알고 있고요. 헌신도 거꾸로 알고 있어요. I think about it. Until now, evangelism, even how you serve the church, you only knew it backwards. 네, 진짜 응답이 뭔지 거꾸로 알고 있어요. And what the real answers are, you knew it backwards. 이걸 가르쳐야 됩니다. Teach them that. 이걸 끝입니다. And it ends with that. 뭐 그냥 응답은 올 겁니다. Answers will just come. 세계 바뀌는 놀라운 일은 벌어질 겁니다. Amazing works to change the world will take place. 아, 성교사님들, 또 성교를 위해 기도하고 있는 성도님들, 교회와 우리 주의자분들, 완전히 중요한 언약 잡으시길 바랍니다. Missionaries as well as our believers, our churches, as well as our church officers who are praying for the missionaries, completely change your thinking. 하나님 감사드립니다. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you. We give all the glory to you. 우리를 인도하신 구원하신 하나님을 찬양합니다. And we give praise to God who has saved us and who guides us. 성경에 있는 전도 볼수 있는 눈을 주신 주님께 감사드립니다. And we give praise to our God who has allowed us to open up our eyes to see proper missions. And we thank you for raising up the missionaries who can carry out this work. Let this be a new start. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.